very good morning to everyone miss rita here children in today's video of geometry class 9 we are going to solve worksheet coordinate geometry student first of all write your name division roll number and today's date on your worksheet now if you see your worksheet question number 1 is given choose the correct alternative answer for each of the following question the first one question is given what is the form of coordinate of a point on an, the x axis student for the coordinate of the point on the x axis here y value should be 0 so in the given four option c is a correct answer so x will be equal to a and y equal to 0 it means our correct answer is c the second one is given what is the equation of the x axis now only i explain you for the equation of x axis y equal to be 0 so here our option is b is correct answer the third one is given in which quadrant does the point minus 4 minus 2 lie already i have explained you the x axis and y axis divide the plane into four quadrant so if the both the coordinate x and y is negative it means it will fall in third quadrant so your correct answer is c third quadrant which of the point p q s t lies in the fourth quadrant for the fourth quadrant the sign is x coordinate should be positive and y coordinate should be negative among the four point p and s have the x coordinate positive and y coordinate is negative so our answer is p and s that is the option number a children the fifth one is given the point of intersection of x and y axis is called the dash the intersection of x and y axis is origin it means the x coordinate will be also zero and the y coordinate is also zero so our correct answer is a option origin now children a question number 2 is given without plotting the point on a graph state in which the quadrant or on which axis to the following point lie student the x axis and y axis divide the plane into four quadrant i have explained you the first quadrant both the coordinate is positive the second quadrant the x coordinate will be negative and y coordinate will be positive for the third quadrant both the coordinate will be negative and for the fourth quadrant the x coordinate will be positive and y coordinate will be negative so first one is given phi and minus 3 it means x coordinate is positive and y is negative so x is positive and y is negative it means it will fall in fourth quadrant second one is given minus 7 and minus 12 both coordinate is negative it means it will fall in quadrant third the third one is given minus 23 and 4 so x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive it means it will lie in the second quadrant the fourth one is given minus 9 and 5 it means the first x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive it means it will lie in the second quadrant now children the fifth one is given 0 and minus 3 so x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is given minus 3 so here we have the coordinate of y it means it will lie in the y axis the last one is given minus 6 and 0 x coordinate is given minus 6 y coordinate is given 0 so here we have the x coordinate 
so it means it will lie in the x axis now children our next question is question number 3 in which quadrant the following point will lie whose both the coordinate are positive both the coordinate are positive means it will lie in the quadrant first the second one is given whose both the coordinate are negative if both the coordinates are negative means it will lie in the quadrant third the third question is given whose x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative it means it will lie in the quadrant four fourth one is given whose x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive it means it will lie in the quadrant 2 so quadrant is depend on the sign of x coordinate and y coordinate now question number 4 write the equation of the line parallel to the x axis at a distance of 3 unit from it and above the x axis the line should be parallel to the x axis it mean the value is given of y so it is given above above means the above numbers are positive and below numbers are negative so our answer is the equation of a line parallel to the x axis is of the form of y equal to b it means the equation of the required line is y equal to positive 3 because the distance of 3 is above the x axis so the number will be positive if it is given below then we have to write negative but in our question is given positive above so y value will be 